Howdy friends, welcome back. I'm Trailblazer Tim. All right, so today we're at the RV, hanging out. Got kind of busy this morning. I didn't have a chance to go out in the woods and do any hiking or anything. But stick around because I'm gonna show you the coolest and easiest way to make a braided paracord ax handle. Okay, so in this demonstration, we don't have an ax, but I have a little hand ax or a hatchet. And I'm gonna show you how you can make the part of the handle into a paracord braid. Looks really cool, it's very useful, and it feels better on hand. Now paracord comes in all different sizes and colors and stuff as you see today. My large one I have is like a, uh, a yellow, and then we have a fluorescent orange as well as our army green uh, diamond braid. Uh, so in this video, to make our handle, we're gonna be using the diamond braid. Okay, so we're gonna start with our tag end of our paracord. And we're gonna start it at the top rib of the handle. Set it there, bring it down to the bottom rib, loop it, and bring it back up here. And what you're creating at this time with this kind of weave is the spline of this particular type of handle. Now that you have this in place, the first knot is always the most difficult. You wanna hold this all in place so we're not gonna lose it. And take that working end I have here, make a loop in it, like so. Hold on to everything there. A loop. We're gonna take that loop and we're gonna pass it around the back of the ax. Keep everything up there on the handle. We're gonna create a second loop and bring it through that back end. Now we're not gonna to try to pull this all the way through. The whole point is, is I wanna tighten that first loop down. Can you see that? Let me see if I can get this or not. Pull some of that slack of that loop we just made out and keep on tightening that down. Remember the premise is to make this a tight handle. So pretty much working kind of like that. Now the first knot is going to be a little bit loose. So before we get too far involved with this, we're gonna take the way we brought that around and we're gonna come back around the opposite way. Like so. And do the same thing. A loop through a loop. Kind of like that. Easier said than done. We do the same premise. We're gonna take, we're gonna pull that knot tight. That. We're gonna take and pull that back out some. We don't need all that. Tighten it up. Got a lot of stuff to do here. Kind of get an off path here. We want that down on the handle, not up here by the head like that. Now we're going to come back around the other way. Just like then. It's going to be back and forth. You're going to go around one way and then after you do your loop, you pull that knot tight. Bring that loop out a little bit. You're going to go in the opposite direction. You're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, opposite way each time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spin this all up and I'm going to show you the end result, how to tie it off, and what else you can use this for. Here is what you're looking at. Now that we've gotten down to the bottom, we have our solo loop left. We're gonna take our working end and we're gonna bring it through that final loop, like so. If I can get my hands on there, just like that. Kind of just tie it off to itself. Yeah. 
Now at this point what you can do is you can loop this remainder through a hole and make yourself a handle or just cut it and burn the ends off and tuck it in where it needs to go. Here's the cool thing about having paracord on top of an axe handle. That's pretty sweet. If I want to now, in a pinch, I can take a pull that last little end out of there. See that? Watch. Within a few seconds, I pull it all off. Now I have something I can use for like a ridge line or something. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, so now the secret to ending this whole thing is, is on your last loop, you're gonna take your working end back around one more time, bring it through that last loop all the way through, tighten it down nice and good. That. Take yourself some needle nose pliers, kind of pull that loop out a little bit and bring the last bit of your working in through that bottom loop. See that? Now you're pretty much tied off. We can cut this to size of what we want. And there you guys have it, paracord handle weaving 101. Not too bad. I think if we had some different colors and stuff, it'd look a little more interesting. Most importantly though, it's a nice comfortable grip. I got a little handle on there. It's not going anywhere. And I already showed you how easy I can just disconnect a couple of these little deals here and pull the whole thing out and use it in an emergency if I needed to. Awesome. Well, hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the nonsense. Paracord weaving. A great little way to add some color to that old butchcraft hatchet, axe, machete, knife, whatever it is. It's an art, definitely. It takes some time and patience, but it has so many uses. It's a nice grip on your handle, non-slip. Got a little handle on there to tie it off to my pack if I need to. Not to mention I showed you how easy to untie this thing. It all unravels within seconds to use it for possibly a ridge line for your shelter. Got any questions, leave them down below. Till next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.